My name is Regan Miner, and I'm the Executive Director of the Norwich Historical Society. Today is April 11th, 2020, and normally we would have kicked off our second Saturday tours today with the Freedom Trail, held in conjunction with Otis Library's Harris Sisters Month. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, those programs have been postponed. Regardless, I wanted to give everybody a virtual look at the Freedom Trail today. The Freedom Trail is a part of the Walk Norwich Trail System. The Freedom Trail highlights Norwich's rich and diverse African American heritage. The sites on the Freedom Trail generally concentrate in the downtown and Jail Hill Historic District areas of Norwich. However, there are two other sites featured on the trails that are in other parts of Norwich. Those include the Ellis Ruley Memorial Park on Hammond Avenue and the Boston Trashar Grave here in Norwich Town. Today, I want to take you guys into the Norwich Town Colonial Burying Ground and look at the Boston Trashar Grave today. This is the gravesite of Boston Trow Trow, Norwich's black governor. The gravesite of Boston Trow Trow recalls a long forgotten practice in colonial New England of electing black governors or kings to represent local slave populations. Trow Trow served as Norwich's black governor from 1770 to 1772 and was one of three known leaders from Norwich. In Connecticut, elections for black governors began in the 1750s when slaves accompanying their owners to Hartford for the colony's annual gubernatorial election chose their own leader as well. Later, Connecticut slaves voted for these governors locally and sent their results to Hartford on the Saturday after the general election, when the winner was formally declared. The occasion was celebrated with a dinner followed by an inaugural parade with the newly named black governor marching at its head. Despite the local status of these black leaders, their authority was primarily limited to upholding order within the African American community. It is thought that their white owners, usually among Norwich's most prominent citizens, promoted the practice as a means to prevent uprisings. Trow Trow is believed to have been the slave of Jabez Huntington, one of Norwich's most successful colonial era merchants. The custom of electing black governors, which lasted for about a century, occurred in many other Connecticut towns as well, including Derby, Durham, Farmington, Hartford, New Haven, New London, and Seymour. In 1869, Connecticut became the 15th state to ratify the 15th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, which stated that no citizen would, could be denied the right to vote based on race, color, or previous conditions of servitude. As part of the final phase of the Walk Norwich Trail System, I'm really excited to announce that with permission from local and state leaders, We'll be installing a plaque commemorating Boston Trow Trow's contributions to Norwich's African American history. The plaque was sponsored by the State Historic Preservation Office and the Sachem Fund. The plaque has been fabricated and will be installed soon thanks to Public Works. So the best part about the Walk Norwich Trail system is that you can view them virtually on your computer or your smartphone on walknorwich.org or you can come pick up a trail brochure outside of the Norwich Heritage and Regional Visitor Center located at 69 East Town Street in Norwich. All four trail brochures are here available for you to pick up at any time of the day. I hope you enjoyed this video today and I hope everybody stays well and stays safe. Thank you.